Hey everybody, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. Today we're going to take a look at Windows 10, the new Microsoft operating system that will be out around the third quarter of this year. You know, they went from Windows 8 right up to Windows 10 and they skipped 9 for some reason. Maybe for luck, I don't know. But anyway, I went ahead and downloaded their trial version. It's like a technical preview. And it gives us a good idea of what it's going to look like and what we can expect. So let me go ahead and show you some of the features and uh, we'll get started. Windows 10. Well, here it comes. This is Windows 10 and this will open up with the lock screen and we need to put our username in here. Now, what they've done with this version is your username is connected to an online account, usually through your email. And to use some of the new features, like the built-in voice assistant Cortana, you have to be connected to the internet. You can still use the system if it's not connected to the internet, but uh, a lot of the features won't work. Anyway, let's go ahead and click this button. You can see there's a calendar and a timer on our lock screen and here's where we put in our password let me put mine in okay here it is here is the new Windows 10 and at first glance you can see it looks just like Windows 7 or similar and all the familiar markings are here which is a good thing. You know, there's the clock and calendar. Here's some notification icons, just like Windows 7. You can see these are quick launch icons, and I can pick those to launch these applications. They've added a new button in here, and this is called Task View, and it allows you to open up uh, more than one desktop. And if you've used Linux or played with Ubuntu or any of those, you know that uh, multiple desktops or something that they've used for a long time. It also serves one more function. I'll go over that in just a minute. And here is the new voice assistant. Now you can always type in here or you can click this button to use your microphone and you can ask this system called Cortana questions and it kind of works like Siri does or OK Google and you know it uses like the web to help figure out what you're trying to ask it. But you can also command your machine to set timers and internal things, as well as external web information. We'll look at that in just a minute. Unfortunately, this evaluation version, which is build 9926, isn't fully functional. But, uh, you know, we can still get a look at what Microsoft is thinking. And here it is. Here's the start button. When I click that, you'll see some things that are changed. Basically, everything looks different. But they've still kept the list of you know applications and tasks that I can do on this machine. And they've also merged it with the tile-looking system that Windows 8 had. So you're using both, and I don't think that's a bad thing at all. You know, you can move these around just like you did in Windows 8 if you want to can organize them or get rid of them. Some of them are live tiles that move, like there's some down here that will change. Or you can use the traditional, you know, these are like the most used. And if I come on down, I can click on this all apps and it puts it alphabetical, all the tasks. You can see it starts with alarms, ends with Xbox. Up here is a power button. This is how you would shut the machine down. You can see I'm logged on here. And you can also make this start button full screen if you wish by using this button. Now from what I understand, if you plug this, if you're using a, a tablet, um, it'll automatically go into tablet mode, but I haven't confirmed that yet. But uh, that's pretty much what this is all about. Let's go ahead and launch Internet Explorer. Now, this is Internet Explorer 11, and what they're doing is they're actually going to come up with a new operating system called Spartan, and this Windows 
11 version has some of the features that they are going to be adding in Spartan, according to Microsoft. I haven't really seen any differences of yet, but uh, if you poke down through here, you'll probably find some uh, things that are new to Internet Explorer that's going to be on the Spartan. You can see there's smiley faces and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and open up uh, our file manager here, get a couple applications going at the same time. You can see they've pretty much updated these icons and the look of it, even though it's situated like Windows 7 and it still has the access bar and, you know, your bread uh, crumbs up here. So if we use this button that I was talking about earlier, this task view, and you click it, you can see that uh, it organizes my applications that are currently open. Let me go ahead and open the store too. Now it's been rumored that this store is going, going to uh, work with Xbox, so you can play Xbox games on PC. But uh, I don't know. I've looked through it, and they're not saying much right now, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Let's go ahead and click this button again. And just like before, you can see I can easily select between these, or I can close them out all together. Now, if I click this again, you can see it says Add a Desktop, and this is the part I was telling you about. It actually adds a physical desktop, and I can switch between them just by picking or I can actually have three desktops if I want, as many as I want as far as I know. So that might be useful. I kind of like the feature actually. So we'll just have to wait and see about Spartan. They're not ready to show that off yet. As far as some of the other features, the big one is this thing, of course. Um, if you were to say, hey Cortana, and it, I can't get it to work right now because they've got it down. It was working a couple days ago. But you could say, hey, Cortana. And it would ask it would ask you what you wanted. Let me click this. Hey, Cortana. What time is it in New York City? See, it's not moving at all right now. I have my microphone hooked up, but it's just not working. I just typed it in. Doesn't even look like it's hooked to the web right now, to be honest with you. Let me open up my web browser again. Seems like that's out of commission completely. I think they've been working on it, so at different times it does different things. But at one point I could say, hey, Katana. And it would say, yes, can I help you, Steve? And I'd say, time in New York City, and it would give it to me. Again, just like Siri or um, OK Google would do. So yeah, this appears to be down right now, not working. Um, well, it gave me the answer on that. Let's hit this search the, the web. So you can see it's integrated into the web and um, it's also useful for changing internal things like your screensaver and that sort of thing even though I haven't been able to play with it much yet because it is down. But I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video and just get, give you a look as to what this bill looks like. Now this is the Windows 10 Pro Technical Preview and the build is 9926 and this is the actual first build that contains this new digital assistant so I, I thought I'd show it to you. Now this is announced for the third quarter of this year and it looks far from done to me. Perhaps they have more done than they're releasing but uh, they've got a ways to go on it. Anyway what do you think of it so far? I know I haven't showed you much but uh, this is the basic layout of it and it gives us an idea of what Microsoft is thinking. And uh, so far, so good, I think. And um, when a new evaluation version comes out, I'll uh, make a video of that and update this one. And if you want to know how I used VirtualBox to install this preview, 
this Windows 10 preview. Let me know and if there's enough interest in it in the comments how I may make a video on how to install VirtualBox and actually use it to uh, install multiple operating systems. Well, thanks for watching. Again, let me know what you think of this technical preview in the comments and uh, things that perhaps maybe you'd like to see it do. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.